Hello guys, welcome back sa aking channel. Ako nga pala si Sir Marsha Tamaria, Master Teacher 1 of Lower Louis A. Peror Junior East National High School na magbibigay sa inyo ng mga math techniques para mapadali ang topic niyo sa mathematics. Ano ba ng mga techniques para mapadali ang math lessons mo? Pagkakalimutan mag-subscribe at pakit na rin ang bell icon para maging updated sa mga susunod natin uploads. Pag-uusapan natin ngayon ang Interpreting Measures of Position na under ng Mathematics 10, quarter number 4, week number 3. So let us consider this situation. Mrs. Rosales gave a 10-item math quiz to her advisory class. Based on the result, 4 is the median of the scores. What does it mean? Pag sinabi natin median, hinahati niya ang distribution into lower half and the upper half. So it means that 50% of the students got the scores less than or equal to uh, 4. In addition, the other 50% of the class got scores greater than 4. 25% of the distribution has a value less than or equal to the first one, quartile. Samantalang 50% is less than or equal to the second quartile or the median. And the 75% is less than or equal to the third quartile or the Q sub 3. Pagdating kay decile, sa so 10% of the distribution has a value less than or equal to the first decile. Pag sinabi natin ang... Um, D sub 3, 30% of the distribution has a value less than or equal to D sub 3. Pero kapag sinabi natin, 90% of the distribution has a value or less than the D sub 9. Kapag naman sa percentile, so 1% of the distribution has a value less than or equal to the first percentile or P sub 1. Hanggang makarating tayo kay 99% of the distribution has a value or less than or equal to 99 percentile or P sub 99. So, kuhanin ko lamang itong isang example na nasa inyong module. In preparation for Palarong Pambansa, Mr. Borja, as Calabarzon Athletics team coach, asked his 10 players to run 100 meters. Anthony, one of the players, ran completely in 9 minutes. Ang nakalagyan ay 9 minutes. Kaya ang gagawin natin dito, papalitan ko ngayon ng 10 seconds. Medyo achievable na yun. So, which is the fourth decile of the recorded time? So, what does it mean? So, since the fourth decile is equal to P sub 40, then this means that 40% of the players run less than or equal to 10 seconds. In other words, pag minultiply mo yung 10 times 40% or 0.4, makukuha mo dito yung 4 players run less than or equal to 10 seconds. Furthermore, 60% of the players or 6 players run greater than 10 seconds. So, puto na tayo ngayon sa learning task number 1. Teacher Lisa, the health coordinator of San Jose National High School, recorded the height of 40 students in a grade 10 class for computing the body mass index or BMI. Based on her report, that this height is in the 60th percentile or P sub 60. Assume that the height of each student is different to each other, then determine natin dito yung letter A, B, C, and D. So pag sinagutan natin itong learning task number 1, ang given natin dito 40 students, at yung height ni na din ay nasa 60th percentile or P sub 60. So ibig sabihin, 60% of the 40 students is less than or equal to na this height. So, ang tanong natin for letter A, how many students are shorter than Nadine? So, pag ginawa natin ang uh, uh, P sub 60, ibig sabihan, 60%. Pag ginawa natin 60% of uh, K sub 40, at yung solution natin, so, makukuha lamang natin dito ang uh, K 24 uh, students. So, ibig sabihan, there are 23 kasi yung pang 24 natin, simula sa pinakamalit hanggang sa pinakamatangkad, pang 24 si Nadine. So, it means that, there are 23 students who are shorter than Nadine. There are 24 students who are less than or equal to Nadine's height. 
yung two pa tayo pa sina din kaya there are only 23 students who are shorter than Nadine for letter B how many students are taller than Nadine ibig sabihan 40% of uh, the students are taller than uh, Nadine kaya magiging 40% of 40 magiging equal lamang kay 16 so therefore there are 16 students who are taller than Nadine for letter C if Katrin's height is in the third quarter or Q sub 3 how can you compare it with the Nadine's uh, height so since ang Q sub 3 natin is equal to P sub 75 or the 75 percentile this is greater than P sub 60 so therefore Katrin is taller than Nadine for letter D if my mice height is in the fourth decile or Q sub 4 how can you compare it with Nadine's height so for our solution so P sub 4 is only equal to P sub uh, 40 or the 40th uh, percentile this is uh, less than uh, P sub uh, 16 so therefore my mind is shorter than Nadine yung letter E natin same, uh, same as uh, letter D so kung ano yung asagot mo dito then yun na lang yung magiging sagot mo for a uh, letter E for the learning task number 2 Mr. Aguilar is applying as a stock porter of a shoe factory in Nagkarlan, Laguna so during the interview he asked the manager about the, about the salary he would get once he is hired. The manager told him that it is in the 4.5 the side. So ang given natin dito, yung salary na ibibigay daw kay Mr. Aguilar ay nasa 4.5 the side. Which is equal to uh, the 45th percentile or P sub uh, 45. Kasi pag dasal ka sa usually, di ba? 1, 2, 3, D sub 1, D sub 2, D sub 3, hanggang D sub 9. Kaya yung 45th dasal, mas maganda kung lalagyan natin ng uh, P sub 45 or the 45th percentile. For letter A, what does the manager's answer to Mr. Aguilar uh, mean? It means that the salaries of the 45 percent of the staff workers are less than or equal to Mr. Aguilar's salary if ever na si Mr. Aguilar ay matatanggap sa factory. So for letter B, if Mr. Aguilar's friend is also a staff worker in that shoe factory and receive a salary which is in the second quartile or Q sub 2, so which of them has a higher salary? So let us assume that Mr. Aguilar is hired in the factory. For our solution, so we have um, Second quarter or Q sub 2 is equal to P sub okay, 50, which is greater than P sub 45. So therefore, his friend has a higher salary than Mr. Aguilar. Letter A C, if the manager told Mr. Aguilar that starting next month, he will receive a salary which is in the third quartile or Q sub 3, should he be glad with that? Third quarter is also equal to P sub 3, which is equal to P sub okay, 75, na ito ngayon magiging greater than kay P sub uh, 45. So therefore, Mr. Aguilar should be glad because his salary will be increased. So let us try the learning task number 3. For question number 1, the first quartile or P sub 1 of the ages of the 120 employees of Tropicana Fruit factory is 30 years old. So what does it imply? So Q sub 1 is equal to P sub 25 or the 20 percentile. So pag kinuha natin ang 25 percent of 120 ang gagawin natin dito yung 25 percent gagawin natin 0.25 times 120. So bibigyan ko kayo ng technique dito para mas madali mag multiply ng 25% sa kahit anong number. Kasi pag minutuply natin to, medyo mahirap ano, ang gagawin mo lang doon, itong 25% na to, pwede mo siyang gawing 1 4. Kaya ang gagawin mo dito, yung 120, i-divide mo lang by 4. Pag nag-divide ka ng by 4, makukuha mo lang dito ang uh, 30. O kaya naman, ano ba, medyo mahirap. Halimbawa ay, kinuha natin ang uh, 25% of, sabihin natin, 560, uh, di ba? Equals a blank. So, ang gagawin mo lang doon ay 1 part of 560. Kung may hirap pa ka sa diba by 4, ang gagawin mo doon, 560 diba by 2, diba 280. Tapos, divide by 2, meron ka lang 140 para mas madaling mag-multiply ngayon ng 25%. So, that is Matimar Techniques. So, we can conclude that there are 30 employees whose ages are less than or equal to 30 years old. For number 2, 
Mrs. Santos advisory class has 35 students. She made a report on the weight of each student as part of the feeding program of the school. Roger, one of the students, has a weight which is in the seven decile or this of seven. So how many students have weight greater than him? So B sub 7 or the 7 decile is also equal to P sub 70 or the 70th percentile. So ang ibig sabihin no, there are 70% of the students whose weight is less than or equal to Roger's weight. Pero ang tinatanong natin dito, how many students have weight greater than him? So meaning, there are 30% of the students who have weight greater than uh, Roger. Pag ginawa natin ang 30% of 35, ang gagawin mo lang kay 30%, magiging 0 0.3. Okay? Ila times mo lang to ng uh, 35. Pag kinames natin ang 0 0.3 ng 35, so 3 times 5, magiging uh, 15, carry 1, and then magiging 3 times 3, magiging, 10 plus, uh, magiging 9 plus 1, magiging 10. Ilang dasa ng page? Isa. So magiging uh, 10.5. So therefore, there are 10 students who have weight greater than Roger. Next, pumunta tayo dito sa assessment. Kedoro took the entrance examination in San Pablo City Science Integrated High School. His course is in the 7th decile or D sub 7. And the passing score is the 75th percentile or P sub 75. Suppose that D sub 7 and P sub 75 are not equal, can Chidoro enroll in that school? Okay. So since ang D sub 7 natin is equal to P sub 70, na kung saan ay less than sa P sub 75. So since less than yung kanyang nakuha sa passing score, so ibig sabihan, sayang naman, no, because Chidoro Chidora score is below the passing score. Kaya magiging sagot natin dito ay letter D. So try naman natin itong uh, number 2. During the flag raising ceremony, Miss Nicole asked her advisory class with 45 students to form a line. So nangyayari lamang ito during face-to-face. -face. So sa ngayon, wala muna ha. According to the height from the shortest to the, okay, to the tallest, one of the students, Tony, has a height that is in the 40th percentile. Ibig sabihan, Meron tayong P sub 40. Assuming that none of the students have the same height, how many students are taller than uh, Tony? So since ang height ni Tony ay nasa 40th percentile, ang ibig sabihan, there are 60% of her classmates who are taller than uh, Tony. Kaya kukunin natin dito ang 60% of 45. Okay? So i-multiply natin ngayon ang 0.6 kasi ang 60% ay equal kay 0.6 or 0.60 pinakamadali 0.6 then multiply by okay, 0.5 i-times natin ngayon to so unahin natin 5 times 6 so meron kang uh, 30 right 0 carry 3 tayo dito then 4 times 6 meron kang 24 plus 3 we have 27 ilang decimal place meron kang isa kaya so there are 27 students who are taller than Tony kaya magiging sagot natin ay letter C for number 3 Jason got a score of 90 which is the 88th percentile in the first summative test in mathematics. So, which of the following is true? So, since ito ay 85th percentile, meron tayong P sub 85. So, for letter A, he passed the test if the passing score is the 9th decile. So, since ang 9th decile natin ay P sub 90, hindi pa pa pwede kasi ang P sub 90 is greater than P sub okay, 88. Kaya, kung ang passing score natin ay 9th decile, sabihin, hindi makakapasa si Jason. Kaya mali ang letter A. For letter B, 88% of the, of the class got score less than or equal to uh, kay 90. So, eto ngayon ang magiging tama natin for number 2 is letter B. Kasi, i-analyze muna natin yung letter uh, C. 12% of uh, the class got score less than or equal to 90. So, mali din kasi dapat greater than 90. And the letter D, he scored above 90% of his uh, classmate. Hindi, kasi dapat ito ang 88% lamang. Kaya ang tama sagot talaga natin ay letter B. So let us proceed with number of words. The second quartile or Q sub 2 of the ages of the 50 grade 7 uh, Rutherford students of San Jose National High School is 12 years 
old. Okay, which of the following is uh, true? Since meron tayong Q sub 2, ibig sabihin, meron tayong me dyan or P sub 50 o kaya naman ay D sub 5. Okay? So, which of the following is true? For letter A, most of the students are aging 12 years uh, old in day kasi dapat ay 50-50 kasi yun, 50%. And then for letter B, all of the students are aging 12, 12 uh, years old in DRAM. So, letter A, see, there are 12 students aging 12 years uh, old in DRAM. So, for letter D, there are 25 students kasi there are 50. So, we have 50% uh, 50 of 50 is equal to 25 that the ages are less than or equal to 12 years old. Kaya sagot natin dito ay letter D. For number 5, a certain government scholarship is offered to incoming grade 11 students in Laguna. Baka meron din sa kabitin ito, no? The policy is that a student who will pass the qualifying examination will be accepted as a scholar. So given that the passing score is the 60th percentile or kaya P sub 60, so which of the following scores will make a student accepted as scholar? Ang key sub 1 natin ay equal lamang kay P sub 75 which is less than uh, P sub 60 kaya hindi pwede. Then ang key sub 3 naman natin is greater than uh, P sub 60 dahil ang key sub 3 ay P sub 75 kaya ang magiging sagot natin dito ay letter B. Analyze muna natin yung C and D. Ang D sub 4 then ay less than kasi P sub 40, so less than P sub 60, kaya hindi pa rin pwede. At ang P sub 50 ay less than syempre kay P sub 60, kaya ang tamang sagot natin dito ay letter D. So, I hope guys, nakatulong ko sa inyo kung paano natin padaliin ang week number 3. At syempre, huwag naman kakalimutang mag-subscribe. Uh, Libre naman yan. Kung gusto mong uh, ma-notify for the fourth quarter, click mo lang ang uh, bell on. So, bye-bye and God bless.